Welcome back to the channel. I've gotten some questions about how to isolate devices um, via Ethernet in Unify. So today we're going to set up some port profiles and kind of tweak things with uh, port profiles and Ethernet on Unify. I'm running a lab connection, so there's not like any devices connected, but it will work the same in production. Uh, I use it for some of my clients, and it works flawlessly when you remember to add your new networks to those port profiles when you create new networks. So um, this does add a little complexity to your setup, but it allows you to isolate things if you need to via specific ports. So let's jump in and check things out. So like I said, I have a Unify setup. There's a USG and one switch and one access point. There's nothing connected and at this point we don't need anything connected. What we need to do is jump into settings and first we'll build out a wireless network and we'll just do, um, We'll call it YouTube main and we'll take a network and we'll use our main network and give it a WPA personal password. Um, so secure with password and we'll call that good. And then we'll create one other one and we'll call this YouTube IOT. Give this another password and we'll call it password IOT. Like I said, it's not hard in that in that aspect, and we'll give it IoT, and we'll save that out. So let that provision, but the piece that we care about is our, uh, I, think, I wanna say it's under services, no, profiles, and switch ports. So we need to add a new port profile, and this is where we would care if we need specific Wi-Fi setup. So profile name we'll call uh, Wi-Fi and uh, the native network, we don't actually need the LAN in it. So the native network's gonna be main and we want to also add IOT. Now, I don't have cameras Granted, I don't have cameras on this network, but I have a camera network, I have a voice network, I have LAN, and I have IoT. You would need LAN if you were going to mesh devices together. We're not meshing anything, so there's no need for LAN. And if you had cameras that needed to be on a Wi-Fi network, you could then add cameras. Um, we're also not tagging a voice network, you could in fact tag voice. We're not going to do that. We'll do that here in a second. So we'll save this out. And now we have Wi-Fi and it does have PoE, PoE plus um, kind of set up. So what we gotta go back and do is we'll have to set our port, port profile um, on our switch. We'll do that after we do uh, IoT and we don't need any PoE, PoE plus, so we'll turn that profile off. The native network is IoT, and we want nothing else within this. Uh, we don't need, need any other tagged networks. We only want IoT through it. So we'll hit save, uh, IoT profile. Save, and so what we can do is within our devices and within our switch, we currently, as you can see, we have an uplink to our USG, we have our downlink to our AP, and then this is out to my laptop. So we want this port profile. So if we jump into the port, we choose the port profile and for some reason, not seeing why, we'll quick jump in. Oh, 
Maybe it's not provisioned through yet. Um, or it can't do it if it needs PoE, PoE plus. So we'll turn that off, save, and jump back into our devices. Refresh this. Jump back into the mini and our ports, port two. So my issue is the USW Flex Mini doesn't do custom VLAN profiles. I didn't know that before I started this video, but you see the process. Once you add it, as long as you don't have the USW Flex Mini, if you're doing it on any other Unify switch, you can use your custom profiles. I can, however, tag a port profile to the IoT VLAN and then only that IoT went through. So that, that IoT custom port profile may not be necessary because it's the only VLAN tag we need to do. So let's tag that as a separate port and we'll plug something in and see the IP address that it gets. So now the switch is provisioning as I've set this to the name to IoT and the port profile to IoT. And we can jump in and do overrides, but we need it to switch. We can let it auto negotiate and we, we don't need to isolate the port because we can use firewall rules, which I've shown in other videos to kind of make sure the network is set up. But this way, if you have, say, an Apple TV or some other device that you need to have isolated or you want to have isolated directly to the IoT network instead of being... You want to isolate it within the IoT network and you still want to give it Ethernet for uh, consistent service, this is the easiest way to do that. So now you can see we have a switch getting an IoT IP address. As you can see, it's nothing like any of these other ones. So um, the upside is, is you could set this up, put, plug a switch in, and then you have all those ports only going out to uh, IoT. So if we go ahead and we adopt this switch, the only port profiles the switch can have because of how it's set up, is IoT. So you just added five more IoT ports. And the other aspect is, is you don't have to then go out and on each port set a port profile. So that's an option. If you've enjoyed this video or learned anything from it, please consider subscribing and helping out the channel. Also click the like button, that thumbs up, and the bell icon for notifications on when I post more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!